Hey BFC family, it's your boy JW Tech Dev, your venti fried chicken author and global cloud slinger. This week is the second video in our Chicken Bite series. Today I'll be answering a complicated but great question. I would also like to note most technicians dodge this question like chargers. Dad jokes only. The question is, what programming language should I start with? Most will say something like, it depends what you're trying to build. But if you're like me, then your answer is usually, I don't fucking know, man. So to simplify and give a straight answer, if you're looking to do web development or stuff that a client sees, then you should start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, hands down. So I wanted to give you a weird analogy as I am a MMA fan. So HTML can be seen as like your fighter's body. If they're just some plain Jane person that came right in the gym, they have a body, but there's nothing special about it. In the context of a website, this is your scaffolding or structure of your document, which is your page. So in this analogy, CSS is a, like basically your, your drip, your tattoos, your face tats, your weird haircut, your colored shorts. On a website, this would be your page's color scheme, buttons, shapes, etc. However, if you're really an MMA fan, then you know you can look really weird and still get mocked in the first round. So JavaScript is the skills after the training camp. These skills make you a winner and make you exciting. In a website's context, this is like when someone clicks this, I want this to happen. Or in some cases, or in a lot of cases, it's giving functionality that would be very hard to do in CSS. Or thirdly, it could be something that's tied directly back to a data source. So if someone clicks this button, then I want to fetch this data to populate this type of content. Okay, so that's my strong and less controversial recommendation for front end or web development. So the next, I guess, sub question would be if I want to work in back end, full stack. My number one choice is Python. My secondary choice is JavaScript. They're both general full stack languages that can cover basically anything you want to do. And unless some real 2020 ish happens, they both have a lot of longevity. But personally, I recommend Python over JavaScript for a few different reasons for tech noobs. So I'll solely give, you know, those differentiators that are, that basically there's no parity between the two to help you in your journey. So for Python, in my opinion, it's really easy to learn the basics. It's generally more human readable. It has a huge, but mostly together community. So JavaScript has an enormous community, but it tends to be fractured off because of all of the different frameworks. This sounds great in concept, but these silos tend to go hunger games on each other on a regular basis. And last but not least, Python uses indentation, which means you won't cut your eyes on semicolons. Yeah, and I know some people hate this because they want more flexibility. They want to place their code where they want to place their code. As a person with ADD, I need hard and fast rules. I like looking at my code and saying, ah, yes, this belongs to this, opposed to, why did this person draw a Pikachu with their code? In JavaScript, folks, I mean this with complete love because I used to be a React fanatic back in the day, if that is a thing. I even went to the React conference. And to be honest, if you have a strong opinion about this, then you're probably too senior to care about what I say anyway. You probably have some well-earned scars from learning Pascal or Rust or some other painful language. So the button is up. If you're doing web and front end, use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to get started. If you're doing beginner programming, then I recommend Python or JavaScript. The key is to stick with something until you hate it and just go a little bit farther. You have to remember, you have to crawl before you dump. So you guys let me know if I'm canceled in the comments. We cook it now.